our travelers. Today I want to do my sort of full review and just thoughts in general of this here, which is the Jansport main canvas backpack. You can click the link in the top right to see my sort of initial thoughts of this bag. But what I wanted to talk about is just uh, my experience using it and the overall kind of comfort with it and stuff like that. So for me, I wouldn't consider this to be like a main bag that I'd carry for international travel. Uh, and the main reason for that is because when I was packing for my trip in January to Thailand, I, I packed about five kilograms of stuff and I tried it in this bag and it wasn't very comfortable because the strap system is rather basic. It just attaches to the top here, as you can see. The straps themselves are very comfortable and have a very nice padding on them. But the actual back panel, although it has padding, is quite flat and just the way that the bag has these traditional uh, attachment points, there's not a whole lot of movement and stuff. And so when the bag is full, this part expands outwards and it kind of presses against your back. When this bag is like packed with more than a couple of kilograms, you know, like it's starting to get pretty heavy, like with a laptop and stuff, that's where I tended to find that it wasn't that comfortable uh, with these particular straps. Um, but that being said, I found it very comfortable uh, just for daily travel, you know, when I was just uh, on a day trip or going to the cafe with a laptop or something like that, not too heavy, just like general packing. So <laughs> just as like a daily bag, I think this is really great. So it could potentially be a really good kind of school bag, as long as you're not packing like too many really heavy books, uh, because again, the, the strap system is kind of what holds it back in that regard. Now you do get a lot of pockets and organization with this. So in the front pocket, but you do get a lot of organization. Uh, so in the front pocket here, you get a lanyard to attach keys and you also get like inner pockets, which is hard to see um, for extra sort of organization. And on the front, you have this stash pocket and you know, that's good for glasses and stuff. It's just a small one there. And as you can see, that's another point about this. That's another point of this bag, which kind of makes me not want to really recommend it completely as a, like at least a travel bag, is that these uh, little zip garages or whatever you call those flaps, uh, they're really nice behind the zip and making it look nice and sort of, I guess, keeping a bit of water out. But it, it's quite annoying when you're zipping up in a lot of cases the zips get caught in them, or especially when you're zipping it up, you can see the zip tends to run along it and it can, especially on the corners here like that, it's really annoying you gotta fold it back and then zip it and then refold it. So that's something with these sort of traditional kind of school bags that I do find a little bit annoying, um, especially when you're zipping and unzipping a lot. But again, it does keep the rain or you know, dust out and so it does protect the zips. All right, so kind of continuing on uh, into the main compartment, you actually have two. Uh, so the first one here is, it's more of like a thin compartment. I would say like this front compartment is more for carrying books and doesn't have any extra sleeves. It's just like a thinner main sort of stash area. So great for books and stuff like that. And then the actual main compartment here is, I've just got a few clothes in there to uh, make the bag keep its shape. But again, this has just a main area. There's no extra sleeves or anything. It's just kind of a big stashing area. Uh, and that could be good for, again, books or, you know, lunch boxes or other kind of school things. And it is actually good, quite good for the way that I travel is that I pack packing cubes. And so I'd put packing cubes in there to keep it organized. So that is quite a nice area, but it doesn't fully clamshell open, which again, is not really important for like a school or day bag. But for uh, international traveling, I do quite like that feature. It has the one drink bottle pocket on this side, uh, nothing on this side. I don't really use that a lot, but I know a lot of people really like to have that. So that is a bonus for those people. You also get these compression straps on either side. I personally don't really like that. I find it makes the bag a bit messy and annoying, especially if it was a clamshell. But again, good to have if you do need those. And the final pocket, which is actually quite unique and an interesting feature for this bag, is that it has a laptop compartment at the back here. And again, that's just a straight stash one. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't lift off the ground. It just goes straight to the bottom. So it's great to have. Again, you could also put books, 
documents. Uh, you could put tablets in there as well. I think it's a really good thing to have. But again, this is probably really more, much more focused as, uh, you know, like a school or university bag, as the name would suggest. So being called the campus backpack, that's obviously what they've designed it for. And I think in that use and for like a day bag, it really is great for that. But as a kind of international travel bag or anything heavier, I would not recommend this for like heavy carrying. But day, tra uh, day carrying is very good. So that's it. My sort of full review of thoughts on this bag after using it for several months. I think it's almost a, over a year now. Um, but I do like the colors and it's very affordable. Uh, it does have a lot of space. So although I wouldn't recommend carrying heavy things in it, you actually can carry a lot in there. So if you can find a lot to carry in there that's not too heavy, it's a great bag to check out. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future videos and I'll see you in the next one.